lite rörda <coughs> där. Just det, rubber. We start with a concept. Then pitch the idea. We go through a process. Where we become writers, producers, directors, and editors. This time, the cameras are turned on us to find out what is it about reality TV that has you tuning in. This is the story of five network executives working together to give you a, a real show. New York City. This is Fashion Week. Making it here takes more than talent. You need connections, clout, and cash. Until now. We send fashion experts to four cities to find the best undiscovered designers in America. The search began in Los Angeles at the downtown Standard Hotel. If given the right fabrics, like, I can kick ass. <laughs> you remind me of Todd Oldham. Chicago was our next stop. I want a chance. I am the struggling artist. I am the underdog. Have you sold any of your work? Yeah, I've been yet? selling stuff. I sell it out of my trunk. The search moved on to New York. It's edgy, and nobody has done it. Who do you see wearing this besides yourself? Bjork. <laughs> I think we're interested in seeing what you could do. Great, you won't be sorry. In Miami, the Fontainebleau Hilton was the end of the line. We want to go ahead and make you a finalist. <laughs> Congratulations. <laughs> I made it, I made it. A panel of judges met to discuss the finalists. Slinky, slinky. And narrowed it down to the 12 best. Project Runway offers these 12 unknown designers a chance to show America and the fashion world what they can do. Every week, we'll give them a different challenge that will test their abilities to the limit. And the top names in the industry will be judging them. This just feels unfinished. I look at the fur and right away I'm like, I'm in Prada land. One designer will be cut every week until three remain. Those three will show their line at Olympus Fashion Week. Then one winner will be chosen. The winner will receive a spread in Elle magazine, a mentorship with the Banana Republic design team, and $100,000 to start their own line. It's a head start that money just can't buy, given to one designer who earns it where it counts, on the runway. There are a number of subcategories in the genre of reality television. In some, the viewer and the camera are passive observers. Often, plots are constructed via edited or planned situations with the results resembling a soap opera. Hence the term docuseries. She's, I think she's, yeah, she's here. She's here. No way. Hey, Bonnie. Where's that Oh, no. no. <laughs> so excited. She's not a Christian. She could be a Jew and believe it in God. It doesn't matter. She, she's tampering in dark sided stuff. Yes, yes. She did! This is my house. I want no money. I want nothing. I want my God and I want my family. This is tainted. I don't want it. Whatever it is, it's tainted. Whatever it is, you give it me. I give it up to God. I'm a God warrior. And I don't want someone with tainted anything in beliefs doing anything with my family. Get out! I've had enough. Gargoyles, oh. get the hell out of my house. In Jesus' name, I pray. So, what do you think of these shows? It's not so much that I re relate to any of them. It's more like they're entertaining. They give you something else to think about, you know. Like, they just take your mind off the everyday crap. It's a lifestyle that I don't have, so I like to watch that and see what kind of happens with their life and predict. You know, it's something to talk about with everyone because you know everyone else watches it. They are very good shows, all of them. Well, at first it was something new before everybody started, you know, copying. It was like something new, a couple of shows, you know, real, real world. But now it's like everything is reality TV show. So now it's getting kind of boring, getting kind of fake, you know. It's like you might as well follow me around all day, and I have my own reality show. That's how it is. So. That's all I got to say about that. Um, I don't know. I think reality TV presents like a very limited view of reality as the truth, you know? It's a direct manipulation by a few select executives. When we make a shit ton of money on the advertising, 
We don't have to pay actors and the crew's a lot smaller. The uh, profits are high and the budget's low. I say okay. People love reality TV so much that we have a pool of waiting participants. I mean, everybody wants to be on TV. Genre is really popular and people connect to it as much or more than other television. I mean, it looks like we're losing our key demographics and advertising funds. I've seen like uh, the real world and uh, and uh, and Survivor. But no, I don't really, it's not, I didn't, that, uh, that uh, fad didn't hit me. Like, if it has drama, then you know we're into it, and if it's not, then, you know, it's out of the picture. It, it has to be real, like, or look real, like, yeah. <laughs> they have some entertainment value. Um, I typically watch them for five, ten minutes at a time. We needed more hype. Maybe a new shocking concept? American Idol. Real world. The ultimate house. Look real world. Beach. Laguna Beach. I ain't up with that stuff. All the survivors. Big Brother. Fear fight. Making a band. I like extreme television. In reality, uh, it's pretty extreme. This is raw and uncut a lot of times, and it just shows how people interact with each other throughout their daily life. I'm really into making a band right now. We have to manipulate the viewers to keep them watching. I mean, it's kind of good, but then people just take it out of control. Sometimes it can be too much. You, you got to let it go eventually. I can never watch another episode of Survivor. I don't care where they are in the world. I show sure is the way they do them people. Some of them, mm -mm. I don't go along with that. Because some, some is good and some is OK. It's just there's, there's so many people on television that, that don't have any talent, that don't need to be there. But that's just the way, that's just the way it is. Um, as long as they don't put any more on, I, I think it's pretty well situated. So is reality TV good or bad? Well, it's, it's reality. reality. Probably good. Word. <laughs> All right. I look at you, you're like, so, one button. following uh, people and their daily and uh, professional activities? Um, because, um... Simon, you know, you've seen him. Yes, Lord, that man full of the devil. I tell him I said so. I say he's full of it. Okay, everyone wants to be on TV. <laughs> okay. We needed more hype. We needed more hype. Happy holidays to you. <laughs> <laughs>